My name is Azola. I want to make this documentary film because it reflects my own experience and um, it talks about the blessings and the sexual abuse that has been accepted by our society. So this is why I want to make this film. I got involved in the blessing movement while I was still in college. I was doing a financial management course, I had dropped out because of what, I've, what I saw on social media of these other ladies looking good and glamorous. So the kids in glam attracted me and I felt like, well, if they can get it easy, so I also, I also don't need education, let me venture into finding my own blesser. I found a blesser through moving around um, these clubs and I was drinking with my friends normally every day, Monday to Monday. So we, after, then when you're drinking somewhere and then ideas come, we're like, actually, let's try this spot, you know, it has blessings. So that's how it all started. Um, there are benefits in the blesser blessing relationship because um, you are offered money in exchange for sex. Um, you are offered maybe you get a business, a new phone perhaps, the latest weave if you like, Gucci bags, designer clothes, if it feels like it. But it's only temporary, it's not like a long term thing, so yeah. Hi Jomi! Um, Jimmy, what's your other name? Is it Nature Museum? I'm trying to stall. I'm trying to stay at home. So, the love is a Nature Museum. It's a yes, it's a yes. Should I get your name? Hi, my name is Zizi Po and I'm a blessy. I live in the Sharks and getting a blesser is the way of out in township. He buys me a clothes and he also rents me an apartment and he also pay me a, few, a tuition fee because I'm a current student. He spends his money on me and I just make him happy by being available when he needs me because he give me what I want and I also give him what he wants. No, no, because I'm not standing in the street selling myself to a man. I'm not advertising myself here. No, I don't know, I don't know. This is right. This is right. I'm gonna try this one. This is too sexy. Yes, my friend. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this. Yeah, you can be this one. Yeah. Can't wait. Because darling, I'm going to show you. Master Lens. Master Lens. Master Lens. Master Lens. Master Lens. Oh, my name is Michael Momo, and uh, <clears throat> I'm a blesser. Being a person who likes fun, and with no doubt I love women, so I decided to be a blesser to get them around me. Well, you should know as a man, I have needs. So when I bless, I expect them to also um, um, pay in kind, you know meet my needs and um, I meet theirs. So it's a um, give and take thing. Well, I'm a successful businessman. <clears throat> I'm a club owner and um, I'm into a few um, entertainment um, outfits that brings money for me. So that's, that's what I do. Yes, it's, I would call it help. I'm being helpful. They need my help and I help them. So, uh, <laughs> what would you rather call it? It's help. They need the money and um, I, I'm just there to help out. That's just it.
The age group that I prefer are girls from within 18 to 25 years of age. And um, apart from you know, blessing them with money, which is um, obvious, um, I'm a man who likes to spoil my woman, you know, treat them nice, um, buy them jewelry, take them shopping. Um, I also, um, if they're good, uh, I could take them out, um, you know, to uh, take them out of town, take them on a boat cruise and you know, spoil them. That's what I like doing. Sometimes you need this, you need to link up pleasure to get things in, done in business, you know. So I have friends who are interested in um, young girls, so I use these young girls to um, get favors. So, and in this my present beat uh, of, um, in my business that I'm looking for, um, I plan on using more and you know, all getting the favors with uh, the girls that I have. Hi, my name is Chris Aldous Redwim, and I'm the author of the book called Exit. Um, I'm a human rights activist, and most of all, I'm also a, a survivor of human trafficking. The blesser and blessy toxic relationship in our country right now, um, it's probably one of the most um, biggest virus that's killing young black children around the country because for me as a survivor um, from the sex trade prostitution, it is sort of a new word they use uh, from pimp to blesser. And the reason why I say this is because times are changing, you meaning laws and justice needs to change also because of the generation. And for me, an example in meaning to that is, you know, when you go to a club today, you'll find men with tight jeans in a VIP section, uh, with bottles popping and and they just scouting for young girls under the age of 18 to be attracted to their glamour and that's how they get recruited to end up being a blessing under a blesser um, you go into a rainbow club which is allowing under 18s to go into this club they sit and they look around at the VIP section they find a blesser um, and the guy is sitting there and he is all about come in this is a very perception i'll buy you hennessy i'll buy you drinks and not knowing those glasses are spiked with ecstasy these girls are excited to the glamour and the glamour is money it's phone it's hair the 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 glamour and the normalization that society is making to the word it's probably because yes one or twice or six times the girl goes back home with 500 rands or 200 rands or 2,000 rands to give her mom and say, hi mama, I was with my friends, Ungawari, and stuff like that. But the disadvantage to this is that the young girl becomes HIV positive, the girl becomes addicted to alcohol, the girl becomes addicted to drug, uh, uh, drugs, and the girl becomes, you know, less interest in educations and opportunities that takes her further. I would say it also comes from a very culture trend that used to happen way back in our society in the villages where that used to go to church or our typical taxi owners that used to be sugar daddies and our parents used to normalize it into our language of culture they would say um, don't tell the world don't tell the community you bring shame so that particular pass uh, a culture was normalized now into a pimp for foreigners that would come in a country and now it's been normalized into a glamour level and, 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 and that's the problem where we, we forget that it's been happening but it's been translated in a better language. What made me decide to turn away from the place or the place or the lifestyle itself 
I had realized that I was literally becoming a prostitute because when you meet your first blesser you think that he's the one and he would take care of you always but that's not the case because when he's tired he doesn't tell you that he wants out to just ignore you and not talk to you then now you will be in a spot where you have to get the next one so this one time I was at the sky's balcony we were chilling dreams shattered and gone to waste is this how our young South African ladies are going to turn out to be prostitutes who inspires the next generation who will they look up to <laughs>